Diddy is on his fourth lawsuit for abuse, assault, among other things, in the past recent weeks. And there have been blind items and rumors that he has abused and assaulted men as well. Here is a new blind item. I suspect the soon-to-step-forward male victim of SA by this A-list mogul will not be the last man to do so. And again, this is allegedly Sean Diddy Combs. You being a part of Bad Boy at one point, how do you feel about these lawsuits accusing Diddy of abuse? What do you think about that? You knowing Diddy, do you think he's capable of doing that, man? It's in his character. That's who he is. That's what comes with power. That's what comes with arrogance. That's that's what comes with, you know, what makes him. You know, I swear it's starting to look like we're never going to get through this surviving Diddy series because more and more people are still coming out to speak on Diddy and Br'er Gray. Just join that list because word on the streets is that he is allegedly filing a $50 million lawsuit against Diddy and Will Smith for allegedly essing him. But that's not all because the streets are now saying that Diddy allegedly also essayed rapper YK Osiris and Chili. This drama just got more insane than Yuka. Well, ever imagine. Because y'all always talking about these rappers, always talking about and giving y'all all these, all these stupid ass, stupid Talks. Oh, this God bless is what God wants you to do. No, this is not what God wants you to do. You go through all this shit. The devil give you all this money. Go through all this shit to destroy yourself. Y'all, the surviving Diddy era is in full swing, and we're starting to hear more and more revelations that have a shook to the core. Diddy has been getting hit with lawsuits left and right, and there were speculations that more people would come forward and expose him for doing some bad things to them. And it looks like those speculations were right, because actor Br'er Gray and rapper YK Osiris are coming out to expose Diddy for allegedly saying them, and in the case of Briar, he is claiming that Diddy. And Will Smith allegedly forced him into freak-offs against his will. There were reports that this was going to happen because last week a blind item came out to reveal that multiple young men in the industry were going to start speaking up against Diddy. Diddy is on his fourth lawsuit for abuse, assault, among other things, in the past recent weeks. And there have been blind items and rumors that he has abused and assaulted men as well. Here is a new blind item. I suspect the soon-to-step-forward male victim of SA by this A-list mogul will not be the last man to do so. And again, this is allegedly Sean Diddy Combs. For a hot minute now, People have been wondering what happened to Br'er and why he left the industry so suddenly he had a great career on Empire, and there were high expectations that he was going to have a very successful career after leaving Empire and do great things, but that never happened because he just went poof from the industry and we never really heard from him after the show ended as it turns out his disappearing act wasn't exactly voluntary because the streets are saying that Br'er got bought lackballed from the industry by Will Smith and Diddy after he tried to get out of their freak-offs because he never wanted to do it to start with, but they were not about to let him go without consequences, and they got him cancelled in case you're wondering how he even got hooked up in this sort of stuff. Let me break it down for you. When Br'er was only a teenager, he met Charlie Mack, a talent manager who helped Br'er get an invitation to audition for Empire Br'er, killed it at the audition, and landed. The role so he moved to LA to star in the show with Charlie being his manager. Charlie ended up being the perfect choice for Br'er as a manager because he had some insane connections in Hall Double. You would he had access to the movers and shakers in the industry and he connected Br'er to some of the biggest names in the industry including Will Smith, Will and Br'er hit it off immediately which wasn't hard because Will was impressed with Br'er's performance on Empire. Will then became something of a role model to Br'er and they formed a mentor relationship dynamic, which sounds pretty sweet on paper, right? I mean, which industry newbie wouldn't want to be mentored by one of the biggest names in the industry, for example? Alexis Arquette, who knew Will on a personal level, spilled the tea that Will's first. Marriage to Cher Zampino ended because Sherry caught him in bed with a man Alexis wrote when Jada comes out as gay and her beard husband, admits his first marriage ended when she walked into him servicing him. S. Sugar Daddy, Benny Medina, then I will listen to them, she being his first wife paid off silent Alexis Arquette, wasn't the only one who spoke on Will, because Jaguar Wright also came out to reveal that Will had affairs with multiple younger men in the industry, she claimed, that he pretends to mentor. The men, but then he allegedly forces them into a relationship that leaves them traumatized. They're both bisexual, they do weird things in their house, and young men have left their house and screaming to get away from them in their mentorship. 
Meek Mills. Bashir Gray. Left that house f***ing screaming. August the only one that stayed and I guess he was really sick. He need a doll. In a rant against Will's wife, Jada Trisha Passas called Will out for allegedly forcing her male dancers to sleep with him. How about worry about your cheating husbanding my male dancers? You know when they didn't want to, how about talk about that also do you all remember the time when federal agents were looking into Diddy for allegedly doing some unspeakable things to younger men in the industry back in 2013. There were reports that Diddy was being investigated by federal agencies for sleeping with you. On guys, according to reports during a debriefing session with federal investigators James Roseman, the music manager, turned cocaine kingpin was reportedly questioned about the sexual preferences of entertainers, including whether Sean Diddy Combs was having intimate relationships with Underage. Boys, according to a U.S. District Court filing, then came Cassie's bombshell lawsuit, and that was the first time that we really got to hear about some of the things that Diddy had going on in private, and yeah, well, it was not a nice picture, turns out, Diddy had a thing for male escorts, and Cassie spilled the tea about him dragging her into some seriously wild escapades with these escorts, which she referred referred to as freak-offs, she claimed that Diddy would hire the male escorts and force her to be intimate with them while he watched and got off on it. He would also direct the freak-offs telling her what to do, and how to do it according to Diddy's former bodyguard, Gan Deal. Diddy was actively involved in the freak-offs themselves, Jean claimed that Diddy gave Cassie a shopping list of things to look for in an escort because he was having her shop for an escort for his pleasures and not hers. And she said that, you know, in this lawsuit that, you know, Diddy, he enjoyed watching her get smashed by BBCs. So, you know, what you think about that? Do you think she was the only one getting banged by him? <laughs> do you think... This man had this woman search for prostitutes online just for them to have with her. And according to sources, Cassie wasn't the only one who Diddy had freakouts with because he allegedly had freak offs with Will as well, you see, for years. There have been rumors that Will and Diddy are on the DEL and that they have been allegedly engaging in freak offs for ages. Now the rumors of Diddy and Will allegedly being gay partners have been going around for years now, but at first people didn't buy it because we all assumed that Will was in a happy long-term relationship with Jay. But then Jada came out to reveal that she and Will have actually been separated for a while now. Was that in 2016, you and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. Yes. It was not a divorce on paper, right. but it was a divorce. divorce. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now, <laughs> yes. y'all have been apart. Yeah. Then we found out that Diddy was not the only man that Will had allegedly been doing the nasty with, because according to Will's former assistant and longtime friend Bilal, Will also had a little something something with actor Dwayne Martin Ball, sat down with Tasha Kay and revealed how he caught Will and Dwayne doing the deed in Dwayne's dressing room.